Hi friends, it's me, Simply Sherry. I help you organize your home, preps, and travel so that you can make life simple and special. Today we're in my kitchen and we are continuing my updated and organized kitchen series. Today we are going to declutter, clean, and organize these drawers. They are my eating, uh, cooking, and coffee drawers. We're not gonna do the junk drawer that's behind me or these drawers here by the kitchen sink because these two are actually different zones in my mind. So when you're organizing your kitchen or any space for that matter, you have to look at the different zones in that room, especially if they function for different things. So in my kitchen, these drawers are one zone. That's another zone. The The pantry, which is over here, the the fridge, that's another zone, the, the cooking zone. So when, uh, like when you were in kindergarten, right? You had different zones like the art zone, the math and the story time zone or area or space, whatever your teacher called it. I was a room mom, so I loved uh, volunteering for kindergarten. And it was very clear when it was time for art, we all went over to this area. When it was time for math or to do games or whatever, they were all separated. And when it was time for stories, um, she had this carpet and they brought their pillows and they picked a spot on that carpet. Sometimes uh, a, a carpet could have a circle and they picked a circle, whatever color that was, and it was time for stories. So when you're in your kitchen, you know, like the utensils, that's the zone. It's specific for that function. And I know to go there to get those specific zones. I don't mix you uh, cooking utensils with eating utensils or coffee stuff because that's the space that my um, my uh, drawers provide. But maybe for you, you, maybe you only have one drawer, but within that drawer, you can have one space for eating, cooking, and coffee. So that's how I think uh, it works for me. Maybe uh, um, think that way when you're decluttering, cleaning, and organizing your kitchen. So let's get started and let me show you these drawers. These two drawers to the left of my stove are next to my kitchen table. And I have it like that because this is where I keep our everyday eating utensils. So it's closest to the table. And my organization for these drawers haven't changed much since I've last uploaded a video. And that's because it works. And then here to the right are cooking utensils. And then these two drawers to the right of the stove are a little bit uh, narrower, narrower than the ones on the left, but they still fit what I need. And these are serving utensils. And to the right are basically my knives. So I don't have a big kitchen. And so um, it's not gonna be far to get my everyday utensils from there to go into my dining room and then my living room is over there to the right and i say that because sometimes i have small dinners or sometimes we eat there and at the uh, dining table for breakfast or even for dinner and so it's it's not far okay and then here are two other drawers that are by my kitchenaid and my toaster oven and they are even narrower than the ones you just saw so these are for my coffee stuff and then these are other stuff like scoopers the rolling pin stuff I use for um, uh, meat tenderizer, stuff for um, seafood. So this um, has worked really well when I had the coffee stuff here. I've since moved the coffee to my dining room into the armoire and I'm waiting to change out the armoire if I'm going to before I move all this stuff. Ideally, that would go right there where my coffee is, but it's good for now. So the first thing I do is declutter then clean, then organize. So I've done this uh, years back and every so often I I might do this. I, I don't do it often anymore because it's pretty decluttered, but once in a while, example, I'll have too many bamboo spoons. I love bamboo spoons. And I'm probably gonna get a new set because this is probably, honestly, I think it's a couple years old, okay? So um, what I've, I've learned this from Peter Walsh. So uh, you take a month, and uh, you take a box, okay? And put all your utensils in this box or container, whatever you have, okay? Put it in there. And when you go to uh, cook, example, these are my cooking utensils. Uh, you can even separate it. Like this could be, my, this is um, my cooking utensils bin. Okay, this could be my eating utensils. And 
Okay, so those are all my cooking utensils, right? And then you could do the same for your serving utensils or for your knives, or you could just mix these all up together. And then in one month, you see, uh, you, you, you take what you need from here. Let's say I'm gonna cook some, um, cook dinner, and I need, I need this, and then I need this maybe. Okay, so I wash that. I wash these and then I cook, okay? So when they're done and clean, okay, I put them back into the drawer, okay? So now in one month, I use these, okay? Maybe the first week, first couple days. And then maybe Wednesday, that was a Monday, I cook probably about three times a week. I go to um, cook again. Maybe I will use the same bamboo or maybe I like um, this one that's more like a spoon. Okay, wash that. See, look, I need a new one. Wash that. Okay, and then I'm serving maybe that. I use that. Oh, I also needed this. Okay, so I've used them all up. Okay, cook, clean, and then put them back in here. Okay. All right, so usually, let's say you don't even have the drawers. You just, just throw them in, okay, because right now you're decluttering. You're figuring out what are the utensils that you're actually using, okay? So trust me, try that. And it helped me, it really helped me to declutter the kitchen drawers here. Then you do the same thing for the utensils, right? Like here I have some um, butter knives, I have chopsticks. I have steak knives, soup spoons, long chopsticks for cooking, uh, rest, resting, um, I don't know what call, you call that, rests for chopsticks, and then some more um, butter knives. Okay, so then I would do the same. So put all my spoons there, all the forks, so when it's time for dinner, do the same thing. You get these, you know, eat, uh, wash them, eat, Wash again, and then put them back. All right? And it could be where you don't have any organizers yet because you don't know actually what you're going to keep. So just just, just throw them in there. They're going to just be like that for a month. I had also done this for my utensils. And what I noticed was that these steak knives, okay, these are really old. And they don't work very well. Uh, I do plan to get new steak knives when I have the money that are going to be Japanese steak knives. I got this, by the way, and let me show you this because I absolutely love it. It's a Japanese steak knife. Hold on. Okay, it's a Japanese steak knife. I love it. I mean, it's a Japanese knife, and I'm planning to get the steak knives, uh, but it's an investment. So once I do that, most likely all my knives, I'll have to reorganize it. But for now, I know everything I have here in these drawers are things that I use. So I've decluttered. Now it's time to clean and I just get a wet soapy rag and I just wipe this down. Okay. Wipe around the drawers and then I clean all the crevices there. Then I take all my containers and I wash and clean those, okay? And at this point, I know those are the containers I'm using, but if you've already just decluttered, then you'd have to configure kind of how you want it laid out. So what I had done in, uh, in particular for choosing these containers, these are from Amazon, and what I wanted, I changed out these drawer organizers. I think this is my, my third one. I used to have bamboo. Then I used to have like the gray Rubbermaid kind. And I just decided I wanted one where I could have the paper here and see through and it just looked cleaner. Um, not clean, like just a cleaner look. Uh, of course it can always be clean, right? Okay. So like I just laid it out and then I measured how much each utensil, um, how long and wide each utensil was. I mean, it was a lot of work. And then I went on Amazon and I just looked up kitchen drawer organizers. Whole bunch came up, there's, there's a ton of them. And luckily I found these and I decided to go with them and I love it. And one of the reasons I love it is um, it's, it's a good quality, good enough quality, and it's also stackable, okay? 
I think I first used these for my office supplies. And then once I really liked them for my office supplies, I said, why don't I go ahead and do them for my kitchen drawers? So if you have, if you happen to um, have more um, utensils than obviously what's showing in here, you could take this and put another utensil holder on top, you see? And it creates, and it still uh, closes. So of course you have to measure the the height of your drawer. And please notice that the drawers are ha I have are not very high and, and not very deep, okay, or, or wide, but they're a decent size. I've learned to uh, whittle down until um, everything fits exactly the way I want them to. Okay, the other thing you could do is that you can get a long one and then if you have a shorter one, like this, right? Like here's my thermometer. You could do something like that and it, and it could slide. It doesn't have to be the exact same size. Now, of course, when I was decluttering this, I wasn't, if it was in the middle of July, I'm not necessarily going to use this because this is actually for Thanksgiving. So I could, if I didn't have the space, I would probably have something just for Thanksgiving stuff, but I have the space so I can just put it here. And you notice that I put it in the back because I don't access it very much, just once a year. Okay, so after I've decluttered and then I measured and then I found the containers that I wanna have, and you know, it's going to, it's going to take time to do that part, to do the organizing part, because you're gonna see if you actually like the containers that you got. If you didn't, you have to return them, order new ones, find new ones, order new ones, etc., etc. Even if you found the ones that you like, they may not be the right size for whatever reason. If, you know, you thought you measured a certain way and it wasn't quite right. So it's okay. You know, take the time. It's worth the time. You know, there, there's no rush because especially in your kitchen, this is something you're going to be using, especially if you, you cook. It's something you're going to be using regularly and you want it to be organized for your lifestyle, for what you need it for, okay? It's it's not for um, HGTV, it's not for your neighbor, it's not for, um, okay, by the way, I just realized this spoon doesn't go there. So my husband puts away the dishes and sometimes he puts it in the, not the correct, exactly correct place. Yeah, it's supposed to go there with the spoons. Okay, all right. So anyway, there. So that's how I've configured this drawer. And luckily, this one fits on the slide, on, on the side like that. Okay. And then for the utensils, just, uh, you know, I've decluttered, I've cleaned. And now when it's time to organize, I know the utensils that I'm keeping. Okay. And then I can start the same thing. I, I get the containers the drawer organizers, wash them, configure them, and then I decided that this is the best way to configure. And for me, you know, the, the, the utensils we use all the time are obviously in the front, the forks and spoons. By the way, I'm Filipino and we eat with fork and spoon, okay? And then steak knives we use the least, so it's in the back. Uh, soup spoons, you know, every so often. Um, and then the, the chopstick rests, I want it to be nearby. I could put it here if I really want it to be more particular. Okay, I wonder if that would be better. So chopsticks with the chopstick rests, butter knives near the butter knives. Oh, huh. it's good I did this video. I might try this out for a while, or I might not. I think the reason, in my mind, I just like This is the area that's more kind of like different sizes. So I just like it like that. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And then at the end of the month, if there are any utensils left in here, except maybe, you know, the, the thermometer for Thanksgiving, then you don't use it. You don't need it. Okay, and you've got to let it go. I had to let it go. I mean, there's stuff that I remember feeling like, oh, I don't want to let this go but I don't even remember what those things are anymore, okay? 
Okay, so let me just show you this drawer, same process, declutter, clean, organize. So I just have my citrus press here, can opener, garlic press. These are my two egg separators. Um, and one is smaller, one is just longer for a longer pot or bowl. Rice uh, spoons. This is for a can when you um, open up a can and then you put this on top and then it drains the juice. Serving spoons, serving forks. And then over here, so here you can see I did a double decker on this one. Okay, and I can slide it. Uh, this is for the apple slicer. Um, got my lighter here, barbecue skewers. And this is the fork and knife we use for uh, cutting, uh, usually during the holidays, ham, turkey, um, roast beef, things like that. And so I don't need those often, I keep them here. And like I said, once I get my steak knives, this draw drawer will probably be reorganized. Uh, but for now, I have this knife, the chef knife that doesn't work that well, my santuco that I can't get rid of for now, and then uh, my bread knife. And then I do plan to add more knives, like my Japanese knife, probably another chef knife, and one more. And I already know, I already found a, a knife holder that might go into this drawer. And then this is like a cleaver. Okay, and luckily it has the the holder and so I can just put it up because putting it down the other way it doesn't really hold right so it's better on its back because it's flatter okay and then here I have pizza cutter and peeler there and then these are just like random this holds the barbecue skewers these and then some random math sticks. So the nice thing with this double decker is one, it fits this, or if, if it was not a double, if it didn't stack, I couldn't put this in here. Then I'd have to find a place and, you know, so that's why I like these particular uh, drawers. And then the nice thing is I can still grab this while this is there, okay? Or, or I can grab this. Okay, coffee, I have my mini creamers there, my tea bag holders, some stirs for espresso, some more stirs. Um, this was a gift, I love it. So I just keep it here for now until, um, uh, sometimes I bring it out to rest my ring when I'm uh, cleaning by the sink. Okay, and then I have these white containers that hold the different types of um, sugar packets. And so when I have guests over, whether it's large or small party, I just open up the uh, coffee um, armoire there and bring these out, or I can bring these to the table. So I'd like this always set up. That's something that I'm willing to give up. I'm willing to use drawer space because it fits my lifestyle and the way I want to function. And then I have these um, tea, iced teaspoons. Okay, those are on Amazon. I, th those are new, actually. The other set I had for probably 15 years, okay? And then over here in this drawer, this is a little bit like miscellaneous, but it still makes sense. Here's my rolling pin, like I said, next to the kitchen aid. Um, I think this cuts, um, cracks uh, walnuts, and then the crabs, um, tenderizers. Um, <laughs> This one I can't give up. It's for strawberries, okay? And this is like a melon baller. And then a little like this for when I decant, let's say olive oil or balsamic vinegar. And then we have an ice cream scoop and then we have a scoop that we usually use for when we make cookies. And then last but not least in this little container, which I think is perfect, it holds these um, labels that you put on glasses. So you, you, you know, it suctions to, oh here, let me show you. It suctions to the glass and people know which glass is theirs. Mine's the blue one, example. Hope you enjoyed this video of decluttering cleaning and organizing my utensils drawers and seeing that it is a system that works for me so it's easier to maintain 
Remember to think of zones when you're organizing your kitchen and that specific function that you're going to have for that drawer or that cabinet or that area in your kitchen. Hit that subscribe button and click the bell notification so that you can join me on this journey to helping you organize your home, preps, and travel so that you can make life simple and special. Bye.